ladies and gentlemen, it's Nine Days, and here is your host. a penny extra. Hello and welcome to Blind Date. You know, I read this survey the other day. I did. <laughs> now, apparently, it's, it's now true that two out of every three people wish that the third one would go away. <laughs> yes, hey, nonny, nonny. And here are three fellas all hoping to go away on a blind date. Here they are. You're all very fanciable, fellas. <laughs> and let's start with you, number one. What's your name and where do you come from? Hello, Scylla. I'm Rob and I'm from Kentish Town in London. <laughs> Moving on to you, number two. Uh, oh, I'm number two. Sorry. I'm number three. Oh, I'm number three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two. What's your name and where do you come from? Well, Silla, my name's Rody and I'm from Edinburgh. <laughs> now, moving on to our third contestant. What's your name and where do you come from? Oh, yeah. A lot of fans out there, number three. What's your name and where do you come from? Um, I'm number three and I've come from the dressing room. <laughs> ah, ah, bless his little cotton socks. No, but what's your name? Tell us your name. Oh, uh, Bean. <laughs> and your first name? Uh, Mister. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Well, I don't go around asking people personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> Not too personal. Who is your ideal lady? Oh, well, Shirley Bassey, obviously. <laughs> Go finger! <laughs> Shirley, it's a great friend of mine. She's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yes. Diamonds off her a bar! Well, I wish all three of you a Laura look. In fact, a Laura Laura look, number three. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Okay. So, so, which one of those boys will be lucky tonight? Well, it's all up to one girl. She's absolutely lovely. She's from Manchester and her name is Tracy. Come in, Tracy. <laughs> Aren't you, love? That's right, Scylla. Now you've got your questions there, so fire away, traits. <laughs> right. I'm a girl who likes a good dance. If you could have just one dance with me, what would it be? And that's number one. Well, Tracy, I'd have a little trouble deciding between a lambada and a tango. But in the end, I think we'd just go for a little horizontal dancing instead. <laughs> Nice. Yes, it's nice. Yes. What about you, number two? What kind of dance would you do with me? Uh, well, Tracy, I'm a bit of a romantic, so I think I'd take you in my arms and we'd waltz off into the sunset forever. Oh, <laughs> oh that sounds nice. Oh, it does. That sounds nice. Yeah. What about you, number three? What kind of dance would you do with me? Oh, I can't dance. Oh, yes. Come on, number three. We want to see him dance, don't we, gang? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't dance really. I mean, I just sort of. Oh, I sort of. Oh, sort of. Oh, sort 
to it just yet because here's our Graham with that quick recap. So, who's it going to be, Tracy? Will it be number one, who makes a business out of making beds? and whose horizons are distinctly horizontal. In other words, he's a perfect... Or will you choose number two, the Scottish lad, who's an expert in languages and wouldn't say non to a little French kissing? <laughs> or will it be number three, he keeps his business secret, but he might just make you an offer you can't refuse. The decision <laughs> is yours. I know who my favourite is. Oh. Who's your favourite? Don't tell us. Who are you going to go for tonight, Tracy? Well, Scylla, I think I was daring coming on Blind Date in the first place. I think you were desperate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that I might go for number three. <laughs> <laughs> what about the two that she turned down? Oh, let's have a look at them. Oh, it's a shame. <laughs> First of all, you turned down our Rob, and he was all the way from Kentish Town. Come in, Rob. <laughs> oh, oh so gorgeous. Oh, oh he is gorgeous. Yeah, no, nothing nice. <laughs> oh, what a shame, what a shame. I have a second thoughts, Tracy. Oh, a bit. A bit. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. What about number two? Roddy from Edinburgh. Come in, Roddy. <laughs> Roddy. Oh, oh Monte T. Chucky Earth. <laughs> what a shame. But this is it. This is the exciting bit, Tracy. Okay. You are going out on your blind date. Do you think you made the right choice? <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> May I say? I think you're a very brilliant. I say this every week. Okay. You will not be disappointed. Because <laughs> here's your blind date for this evening. Number three, here he is from his dressing room, and his name is Mr. Bean. Come in, Mr. Bean. Oh, mint, please. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're all. Some of the cuts are all. Oh no, don't go there. <laughs> um. Ah, this is it. A night in an English country hotel. <laughs> is that is that the one you're going to go for? Yeah, yes, it's the one. Are you happy with that, Tracy? A night in an English country hotel. I mean, they're all lovely dates. Do you oh. like champagne? No. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll have a good time. Oh, Tracy. <laughs> Please, try and have a good time. <laughs> All I ask, will you come back shortly and tell us how you got on? Oh, I, I certainly will, Miss Black. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? Let's hear a big hand for the lovely Tracy and the marvellous Mr. Bean. Oh. See you later. <laughs> Have a look at our romantic couple and spending their romantic weekend at a lovely English country house hotel. Looking forward to dinner. 
dead hungry. Oh, so, so I. <laughs> no, it's music. Sorry. <laughs> nice music. Oh, yes. Very nice. Ah, so, uh, this is your room. Yes. <laughs> well, good night. Good night. your blind date in the heart of the English countryside, but at the end of your date, did you win each other's hearts? Let's find out. When I first saw him, I thought, oh, she is a little she is When I first saw her, I thought, blimey, she's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. He didn't say much. He didn't have much conversation. He had a, a bit of a tendency to keep himself to himself. Can you say something? When he did come down to dinner, I thought it was a pity that he had his shirt sticking out of his flies. And when I came down to dinner, I could see that look in her eyes. <laughs> One thing, you know. It was the worst weekend of my life. Best weekend of my life. Of course I'll never see him again. It was a total disaster. Oh, dear, I don't know what to say. I am so terribly, terribly sorry. Ha <laughs> 